Well, it sounds like there's some bad news for people who get manicures. Specifically, if you use LED UV dryers, this can increase the chance of melanoma and skin cancers if we're getting our nails done. Now let's talk about this and why these LED UV drying lamps at nail salons are different than the LED we put on our face, but about what you should know about the potential for certain wavelengths of light to cause cancer, how this works, and then what you can do to prevent it. And we're also gonna have a pop quiz. I'm gonna show you some of these interesting photos Photos, and we're gonna try to spot the melanoma. A dermatologist, Dr. Jen, posted this on Instagram and this was fascinating. And I want you to help guess the melanoma with me, thanks to Dr. Jen. So first off, let's speak about this new study that came out. Essentially, this study was looking at how people dry their nails specifically for gel manicures. But if you're someone who's ever gotten a manicure, either regular or gel or acrylic, you know that you go into those little dryer things and there are multiple types. There's the dryers that are just the air. There are the dryers that are the UV lamps that a lot of people are concerned about, and then there are these new LED dryers that are basically an LED light. Well, for a long time, people were putting their hands in these UV dryers. They have this ultraviolet, kind of this purplish light. This UV light is pretty much the same wavelength as the UV light from the sun. It's very damaging, and yes, this is increasing our risk of skin cancer. And because so many smart consumers were walking into nail salons and saying, hey, um, I don't want to use that UV dryer, and nail salons were saying to manufacturers, hey, we don't want to use UV on our clients' hands we want to keep them safe, a lot of manufacturers said, okay, let's use an LED light. Now, LED stands for light emitting diode and light emitting diodes are also used elsewhere in medicine and in skincare. You know that I love my LED masks. Well, there's a problem when it came to nail salons. Some of the LED lamps that are created are not just LED. They're what's called UV LED, meaning that they're using these LED lights to actually emit UV. So yes, we're using a different type of lamp, but it's still creating the same wavelength that can cause cancer cancer in the skin. And to understand this, let's specifically look at our beautiful electromagnetic spectrum. Damn, that's a sex oh my god, I'm not trying to sexualize science, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Well, all of the light that we visually see is actually a very, very tiny portion of this electromagnetic spectrum. Do you see what a small amount it is? Now, if you look at this spectrum, anything that's closer to the red is closer to infrared light, which is actually the heat that we feel on our skin from a warm sunny day or even from some of our appliances. But on the opposite end, we have what's called UV light. And do you see how wide this spectrum is? It's actually larger than the visible light we can see. But anything that goes past the visible light is invisible or not visible, but it's still there. And that UV light is specifically what can be so damaging to our skin. We know that it comes from the sun all the time. We're being bombarded from outer space. And if you continue going, like there's x-rays, there's gamma rays, etc. Our bodies, our environment, our entire planet is being bombarded with this all the time. And the good news is that the atmosphere of the earth helps to filter some things out. There's something called UVC, which is also very, very, very dangerous, but the earth's atmosphere actually protects us from it. So unless you're going to outer space or unless you're welding, you don't have to worry about UVC. But you UVB are the burning rays, UVA are the aging rays, and we know both of them quite well because of how they can cause fine lines, wrinkles, sunspots, and most importantly, melanoma or skin cancer. Now, how does this play into our hands? Well, as we know, if we put our hands in the sun or give them exposure to UV, this UV light is high energy. So it can actually penetrate into our skin and it can cause cellular changes. It actually causes DNA damage. Remember, DNA is kind of the blueprint that our cells use to replicate themselves and to grow. And if we damage or mutate that DNA, it kind of grows back crazy. And that's what's called cancer. It's these cells that don't act like other ones and usually they grow really rapidly and they can be very dangerous. And melanoma is one of the most dangerous types of skin cancer. And yes, melanoma can end lives. Now this is why it's important to wear sunscreen when you go to the beach, but also if we're sticking our hands into UV light, that UV can still penetrate into our hands and into our nails. Did you know that you can actually get melanoma in your nails as well? If you have any weird vertical pigment lines on your nails, go get those checked out. Well, with all of this being said, these nail salons started putting in these new LED lamps, using them to dry nails. And they thought, wow, for gel manicures, for other manicures, this is working just as well as our UV lamps. Isn't it great that we have this? The problem is this LED light is emitting a very specific type of electromagnetic radiation. Again, when we look at our electromagnetic scale, we have visible light and UV light. There's no LED on this electromagnetic spectrum. Why? Because an LED is 
a type of light bulb, basically. And the actual electromagnetic spectrum is what type of light is being emitted, what wavelengths they are at. So even though we're using a new type of bulb, that LED light bulb is still emitting the harmful wavelengths of this spectrum. It's not just doing, you know, the visible light, it's actually doing the UV light. So we've changed the light bulb that it's coming from, but it's still causing issues. But because it's labeled something new, consumers think that it's safer for them, or these nail salons don't know that it's bad for their customers, or manufacturers maybe haven't consulted a physicist or doctors and dermatologists, and they're just, you know, putting out things that consumers want without understanding that this really isn't getting to the core of the problem. Dr. Mamina is one of my favorite dermatologists on Instagram, and she was the one who actually brought this to my attention. And the Department of Energy said something about this, and the American Academy of Dermatology actually put out an article on how to do manicures safely. So let's talk about what we can do if we want to get manicures done, but we don't want the UV exposure. Are there any options for us? Yes, there are actually a few that I'm going to share with you, but first let's do a little pop quiz. Can you spot the melanoma? Here is a photo that Dr. Jen posted on Instagram. Taking a look at this, can you spot the melanoma? Remember the A, B, C, D, E's and the F, G's of melanoma. We're looking for asymmetry, we're looking for an irregular border, we're looking for color, we're looking for diameter if it's bigger than the back of a pencil, and we're looking at if it's elevated, if it's evolving, if it's changing. Well, this little spot looks totally normal, but this is actually invasive melanoma. And when we zoom in, do you see how it's not only red, but it has these little lines on it? This is indicative of melanoma. This needs to be removed ASAP. And it's something so tiny that could happen on the hands of the body. It's things like this that can grow and spread very, very quickly. And it's better to get them checked. So get a mole check by a dermatologist and avoid situations that can cause this to happen, such as increased risk of sun exposure or UV exposure, such as from the nail buds. Let's look at another one. Look at this skin. There's a little bit of redness, but uh, do we see any melanoma? Is there any skin cancer? Yes, this little spot right down here is actually melanoma. And if we zoom in super close, again, what a dermatologist would do with a dermatoscope, you can see that there's a negative network. There's pallor on on this, and this is indicative of melanoma. Dr. Jen also did a really good job of showing an actual icon of what this looks like. And can you see how there's like, they almost look like little squiggly worms. It's hard, if not impossible to see with the naked eye. And if you're just looking at the back of your hands, you wouldn't be able to tell. And that's why getting this checked out professionally is so important. Last one, is there any melanoma in this photo? Yep, this big spot right in the middle that skin cancer. As you can see, there's some pigment dropout, there's that pallor again, and there's this difference in color. It's granular, and Dr. Jen even notes the slight haziness. Again, this is irregular. This needs to be removed before it spreads. And these are happening elsewhere on the body, but this can happen on the backs of the hands. This can even happen in places where the sun doesn't shine. But at the same time, this is why it's so important to decrease our risk of exposure to these damaging UV lights or to anything that can cause skin cancer, and to take precautions when we are having fun in the sun when we are going to the beach or getting our manicures. And these are all things that I think we should do. Let's go for hikes. Let's go to the beach. Let's get our manicures. Let's just make sure that we're doing them responsibly. Now, if you do want to get manicures, but you're worried about the UV lamps in the nail salons, what are you supposed to do? There are a few important ones to keep in mind. And the first is this. Is this hairspray? No, it's nail spray. There are actually these quick dry nail sprays that you can spray onto a manicure to flash dry them. Another option are these quick dry dry drops. I've actually used these before back when I did paint my nails. And this is just like a serum that you drop onto a fresh manicure and it helps to quick dry them so that you can get up and go. Again, I don't believe this works for the gel manicures or for acrylics, but this does work for regular manicures. When it comes to gel and acrylics, you're going to have to ask your nail salon what's going to work. Again, I would recommend trying to see if you could do the regular dryers without any of the UV lights or the LED UV lights. I know that there are some gel options online, but one of my favorite options are actually these little gel press-ons. These are from Dashing Diva. There's also a brand called Kiss Nails. Both of them are wonderful, but some of these are like actual little nails that you press on, or basically like these little nail, I almost call them tablecloths, that you can kind of smooth over your natural nail. I like to get these length ones because I need to keep my nails short for work, but I can rip these off at any time and they don't damage my nails. And then when I do take them off, I can do facials as normal, or I can do things with my hands. I can play piano, I can rock climb, right? I can play guitar. And it actually works really well because I can just put a new set back on when I'm done. And they come with like 30 in a box and they're like $6. You can also get them for like 10 if you get the really fancy ones with like the glitter and the gems, but it costs less than a regular manicure. I'm getting 30 nails instead of just 10. And as you can see, if I keep them on for long enough, they actually grow out. And I've had these stay on for two, three weeks. Like, let me, ready, watch this. Do you see this? 
Like, they ain't coming off, babies. I absolutely love the Dashing Diva ones. Dashing Diva almost became an MLM, and then they listened to their customers who said, you have to become an MLM, we're not gonna shop from you anymore. I was one of those customers. And then they actually did something shocking. They listened to their customers and they said, fine, we won't become an MLM. So um, I still love them, and I will continue to use them unless they do some scammy, scammy multi-level marketing. But let's say that you don't wanna use the magic press. Let's say that you don't wanna use the little gel nail cloths. Let's say that you aren't able to use the little quick dry sprays or the drops. Do you have any options for a good gel manicure? Sunscreen, babe. Just put some sunscreen on your hands before you get under that UV light. Again, try to get that sunscreen as close to the cuticle as possible without ruining the manicure. Um, and again, you can get melanoma in your actual nail beds, although it is much more rare and you'll actually see it as like a black stripe. Again, see a dermatologist if you wanna get checked out for melanoma in your nails. But using some sunscreen, I got me some super goopy. Just put some on the back of your hands and make sure you're trying to stay protected. Another excellent option that I use when I'm driving are actually UV protective gloves. Dr. Dre got me hooked on these. I buy them for a couple of bucks on Amazon. I only need one pair. I think they're meant to be used for gardeners, but I use them when I'm driving, when I'm out and about, or yes, in the rare occasion that I go to a nail salon. And if you literally put these gloves on, the manicurist, the nail technician, they can do what they need. They have full access to your nails, but the majority of your hands are protected from the sun. And I would say that these UV protective gloves are the easiest way to go because you don't have to deal with goopy sunscreen, although you should be using goopy sunscreen on your face every day, and I usually take the excess and put it on the backs of my hands. But now you've done a pop quiz, you understand the physics of light and LED in the electromagnetic spectrum. And now you also know about melanoma and how sneaky it can be. And you have some options of what you can do if you want to look cute with a manicure, but protect yourself at the same time. I am linking Dr. Mamina's and Dr. Jen's Instagram posts below. I would highly recommend checking out their pages because they are such a vast ocean of knowledge. I'm just enamored by what I learn every time I sail into the skincare seas that are their pages. But I will also link some of my favorite sunscreens for the hands, some sunscreen plus hand creams, as well as my personal favorite products in the little YouTube shelf here below. And then I've also listed them in the description if you wanna see the exact Dashing Diva nail sets that I get, because I try to get the long ones and I try to get them so I can mix and match. But again, they also have the short ones and the tablecloth ones, and I'll make sure that I separate those in the description below. Do remember to stay hydrated both orally and topically. Do remember to reapply that SPF, especially on the backs of your hands, whether or not you're going to the nail salon. And always be a beautiful both inside and out. You are such a smart skin intellectual. I love having you here and I cannot wait to see you in this next video. Love you guys. Bye.